In a presentation for the Zurich Mines Conference, Professor Raffaello D'Andrea demonstrates the amazing capability of drones that can communicate with each other. Technology, he admits, could be used to abuse populations and is, quote, incredibly dangerous. The most impressive part of the demonstration shows the drones working together to intercept an object. For this last demonstration, which we call the Skynet, we're going to use these three vehicles to do something cooperatively. What they're going to do is they're going to propel a ball in the air and then move to intercept it. This is a nice demonstration of various aspects from control theory. The first is optimal control to figure out the optimal way for them to throw the ball up in the air uh, um, subject to their constraints. The second is feedback control about these trajectories. And the third is replanning to move to intercept the ball. Okay. See, it's definitely worth waiting for. Okay, so the things that I want, to, I want you to appreciate when you see this is that these vehicles are basically vertical when they're fully extended. The other thing to notice or to note is that the forces that are applied to it are on the order of magnitude larger than the forces that the vehicles can apply themselves. So it's like somebody yanking you with thousands of pounds of force. And they have to be able to coordinate their actions to not only throw the ball up in the air, but then move to intercept it. This is an extremely dynamic task with a lot of uncertainty with very fast dynamics. Yet, this technique for designing control systems is very robust, and that's why the system works. Earlier this month, we reported on the development of a drone that mimics the behavior of eagles to snatch stationary objects off the ground, a capability technology experts fear could one day be used to literally abduct protesters and other suspects off the street. We also highlighted how a mind meld study funded by DARPA was successful in fusing the brains of rats, a technology the Pentagon one day hopes to bring to legions of battlefield robots. Writing about the Skynet communicative drones, aviation expert David Senciotti expects the drones demonstrated by Professor D'Andrea to be used for hunting terrorists and other, quote, homeland security purposes. Just imagine the same behaviour in those drones which provide homeland security circling over your house or hunting terrorists in theatre. Even if pilots will still be sitting inside a ground control station to guide them, they will be able to make fast, autonomous, efficient, cooperative decisions, removing the possibility of human error and slow reaction time. Nice! Until they gain self-awareness, requiring a John Connor to save us all. And of course, Skynet was the artificially intelligent computer system featured in the Terminator franchise of movies, operated by these armies of cyborgs whose goal it was to exterminate the human race. So that's the little cute name that they've given this new fleet of intelligent communicative drones. And during his presentation, Professor D'Andrea had his own warning about the threat of the technology being misused. Okay, and my last note is that it's also incredibly dangerous, okay? We're creating some pretty powerful stuff here. And it should be clear that it can, that it can be misused and it can be abused, okay? The things that you could do with these types of machines is, is a little bit terrifying. Subscribe to the channel below and also check out prisonplanet.tv. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.